Hey, this is Liz Bentley. And today I'm gonna to talk about imposter syndrome. And imposter syndrome is when who we project to the outside world is different than how we feel about our inside world, how we feel about ourselves. So for example, if at work we project someone who's confident and strong and capable and confident, but in the inside, we feel insecure, we feel scared, we feel unsure of ourselves. Um, we're projecting someone very different than how we really feel. And often in these cases, I see people say, well, I get all these compliments, but yet I just don't really feel that good about myself. So when that's happening, we need to look into that inside world and say, why do you feel this way? And why do you keep holding on to this? Because part of what I see is that it's a habit. Feeling bad about yourself or feeling unsure or, or, or unsure-footed can be actually just a habit. It can also be something that makes us feel safe. Sometimes it's a way of not taking risk and really pushing ourselves to grow to the next level, pushing ourselves to really be that person that we're trying to project out to the world. Sometimes it's a way of protecting ourselves from really what we might think is our truth. So here are the tips <laughs> on how to get rid of imposter syndrome and close that gap between who you're projecting to the outer world and how you really feel about the in, in the inside of your body. First, stop going around and getting people to compliment your outer self and hope that that's gonna heal the inner self because it's not. You're not fixing the inside by getting compliments from people on the outside because obviously their opinion at the end of the day is not gonna matter. Number two, recognize that the only person you, that, you, that is gonna believe in you and help you with this is you. You have to believe in you. You have to believe that you are capable and you have to have faith in yourself when no one else does. Number three is you gotta dig deep and find out why. Why do you feel insecure? Why do you not have power? Why do you feel this way about yourself? Look at your truth and look at where you may have deficiencies. Number four, don't be afraid of failing and taking risk. Most of the time we're not pushing ourselves to be that person we're pretending to be is because we're afraid of taking that risk and we're afraid of failing. So identify what that failure could be. And last and most important, not least, remember that you are capable of anything. And maybe you don't even want to be that person you're projecting to the outside world. You can be anything you want to be, but the most important thing you are is in alignment with who you are on the inside and who you want to be on the outside. So connect those two people and live inside your truth. Don't be an imposter. Thanks and see you next Tuesday.